Hi, I'm Lucy Hawkersmith and welcome to the May edition of our Facebook Extension Update for Family and Consumer Sciences. Canning season is right around the corner. There's lots of information in the newsletter about that and canning dates for our programs through the Mercer County Extension Office have been set. Our first Canning 101 class is set for May 20th. It's an afternoon class. It begins at 1.30. The Canning 101 classes are lecture style information classes that make you eligible to attend all of our fun hands-on classes classes, including Canning Camp, which is scheduled for August. Another thing you might want to do is get your canner lid tested, especially if you have the dial gauge canner. Um, it is a free service provided here at the Extension Office. I simply pr place the canner lid on the canner tester and pump it up to the appropriate pressure, making sure that it matches so that you'll be doing the safest canning for your family this season. Another few things you might want to stock up on, having some vinegar handy for canning is good for just the water, both in your boiling water bath canner as well as your steam pressure canner. Just a tablespoon or so in your water will help prevent the mineral deposits on your jars if you've seen that lime scale before and wonder what caused that. Also, you will want to check your rings. Make sure there's no dents or rust on these rings. They're reusable as long as you're keeping them in safe condition. You'll also want to check your jars if you're reusing them for nicks or cracks. We want to use the best materials possible. Some other things to have are a funnel, a jar lifter, can be very, very helpful. And this tool, which you may not be familiar with, is a headspace tool for measuring headspace, and the other end is for removing bubbles. We do recommend that you use all plastic materials when you're working in the kitchen and canning and um, preserving. You also will want to use canning or pickling salt, not table salt nor iodized salt. Those can contribute to uh, cloudiness and other factors that make it um, unsure whether or not it's a safe product. And having a permanent marker so that you can mark your lids um, and date them so that you can have that safe food supply for your family. We do recommend that you put up in, in your canning area no more than your family will use in a year. And make sure and use it up within two years. And this has been Lucy Hawkersmith, your Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences of the Mercer County Office of the UK Cooperative Extension Service and College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment. Happy canning.